Hey guys, I'm doing a huge giveaway. All you need to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. Leave a comment down below with your in-game name, in-game ID, and the skin you want that's under 300 diamonds. So with that, best luck, and I'll see you in the video. Yo guys, how's it doing? This is Assassin Dave right here, and today we're bringing to you a gameplay where I'm gonna go into a topic that we run into a lot of times, where especially when you solo queue, um, you run into teammates that is absolutely um, weird. And not, not, let's not say they're trash. Uh, I didn't come out from Dave's mouth, his family friendly stream. I'm not gonna say they're trash, but they are. <laughs> so. What do you do, right, when you have teammates like that? Like, what do you do, right? So, um, this game we're gonna demonstrate, um, like, when you have a teammate like that, um, you know, how should you, how should you, what kind of attitude you should have to play the game, and how do you actually play the game in order to, I mean, how do you deal with a match in order to win? Um, or turn a game around, at least have a pleasant game, right? So, um, with that, guys, I'll quickly get into the game. Obviously, you can see I'm playing Hardy this game. And right out of the bat, uh, you can see Lolita was uh, typing in the chat saying that uh, I'm gonna go AFK, blah, blah, blah. Uh, somebody stole my girlfriend. I don't care. You know, I'm gonna kill myself and kill somebody else. Uh, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter what his reason is. I don't even know what her reason was uh, to be AFK. She was mad at somebody. I think she was mad at somebody on our team. I think it was, she was mad at Roger for some reason. Now, uh, it doesn't matter. I wasn't interested in the drama. I was, um, you know, playing the game while setting something up, so I wasn't paying attention to the background story. And obviously, we have an Alucard pick. Uh, we're, in we're interesting, and, uh, and Alucard been taking all the farm, so um, it it's, it's kind of difficult, right? And you can see the bottom lane immediately came to mid for a gank. And we still have one AFK, Lolita is sitting base, so uh, with that being said, um, right now, it's basically me sitting mid, Alucard coming to take the farm. Roger solo bottom and you have two people rotating from their side Karina came to mid um, Because he's able to take retribution and farm really well. Look at this over here uh, We saw Kato Kacha was returning to on the right side and uh, I immediately, immediately spotted an opportunity for me to go in because um, he, he was all by himself and here's the matter was in rage and in level 4 um, I tried to get away, but unfortunately, I don't know what that was like you just able to charge on me even though I'm super far away I think she. I think he over the charge like at a moment, and I jumped, and uh, he followed me all the way after to where I jumped to towards. And uh, my Antor was get level four just in time, and he was raged. Obviously, I spotted my Antor was raged, so I tried to get away. But unfortunately, Yunjia was charging me and flew me back, so I couldn't get away with my execute. <laughs> but uh, as you saw, the reason why I take execute on Harley, um, you saw already young, I was able to kill um, Kato Kacha um, very easily, even though he's a tank crow. I, I don't know if he has built a magic resist system uh, item yet. I mean, it's really early into the game, but with execute level four, you can kill anyone, anyone in the game. Okay, you just all you need to do is old school in with your first ability. First ability hit any, every single card on the enemy. You execute a couple all attacks, you turn and just watch them explode. And obviously, in this game, uh, I'm gonna give all the blue to Karina because um, uh, she, I mean, for for. For Chimmy like Harley, it's good that you have blue buff for the core reduction, but I don't really need blue for the mana. I mean, like, as, as you can see here, Yun Zhao almost died, but he's, he has Flicker, which is an untraditional battle spell pick on Yun Zhao, and it's gonna prove him to be more useless late game. But right now, he's able to, you know, get away just by big, just because he has Flicker, and I was like, did he just Flicker out? Because <laughs> he did, you know, it was pretty interesting. If he didn't Flicker out, doesn't matter if he activated ult or not, he's gonna die. My ult was gonna hit, my first ability was gonna hit, and if it hits, like he's gonna die, but unfortunately for me, he did have flicker and able to get away. And here was just a little, just a little seducing, you know. I know there's Eudora there, um, and so I didn't want to go further because if you get CC to playing Hardy well after you jump, you know, chances are you're gonna die, you know, before you can return back. You may return back, you're gonna take a lot of damage. Here, Yunjia gonna uh, charge onto this Karina. I didn't use my jump right away. I instead, I used, I used my first ability because I didn't see her charge. He didn't see him charging at me. And I used a lot of my damage, and unfortunately Yunjiao didn't die because I didn't have my um, execute ready. If my execute ready, 
um, he could have been a pretty easy kill, right? And here I see them actually going bottom. I see their entire team going bottom, and they immediately start rotating bottom as well. It's going to be Jiao coming in here also. Uh, he should have set something up. And they got they just had a tower dive on Roger here, which Roger is going to prove him to be dead like right away. But Yun Zhao doesn't seem like he had anywhere to go, as you can see here. Uh, I spot opportunity, instantly use my ult, throw my first ability in. And after a buff on Harley, um, the, your ultimate slows is just very, very insane. Like, it, because before it was just an ultimate, you know, and then you explode damage. But now, it not only does 50% damage, uh, actually, it was 40% before, not only 50% on the damage you dealt as a secondary damage. And it also slows enemy, which is like insanely good. So Harley is becoming immediately relevant in the meta. Actually, um, I would tell my teammates, we should not just try to fight for Cyclops and that much, because Harley early burst is insane because of the ultimate. Especially your teammate is able to synergize with you. Let's say you have a child, have a saber. Oh my god. You can burst anyone down. Like seriously, go there, someone died, because your ultimate cannot be purified, you know? And here you can see because we were like obviously Lolita was really really pissed off for some reason but we just ignored her you know we didn't ignore her we didn't argue we didn't do anything and you can see here um, he returned she returned back in this team fight she was able she was proven to be like you know a little calm because he was really pissed off for some reason that nobody knows right now what's the right thing to do ignore him what's the right thing to do absolutely ignore him the more you talk back, the more you feed into his emotion, where he thinks he's doing something right and he thinks he's getting attention. And the more you give him attention, the more he thinks he's winning. The more he thinks he's winning, the more he's going to show off. Um, it's kind of like a kid, you know? Like, why do kids cry? A lot of psychologists have done the test, but they realize what kid crying is a lot of times actually just try to get attention. So if you know when to ignore the kid, sometimes they will actually, it will actually tone down, you know, the, the stupidity, right? Here you can see that, you know, we're not really... Um, because of the Lolita AFK, we just ignored him, and he she came back she, because she realized nobody in the nobody in the goddamn team was saying anything back. Doesn't matter what she what doesn't matter what she said. I told my teammate, let's just ignore this kid, and in fact we did, right? I just said in the early on, Lo, we poor Lolita, right? That's all I said, and doesn't matter what she said afterwards, we just ignored him, and then he came back, and in fact after he came back, we immediately started running. You can see, right? You know, right now it's seven to three. Um, I've been farming really well with my uh, strategy I, when I play Harley I'm already farming the jungle a lot I tend to give jungle to my teammates what I do 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 is give my uh, farmed enemy champions because I was executed I gank a lot you know you gotta utilize execute cooldowns really short about a minute you gotta make sure that you utilize it as much as you can here as you can see that I jumped in and then just walked away and <laughs> Carrie died like I jumped in ultimate and um uh, execute with my first ability obviously and he died there's nowhere for him to go uh here Yun Zhao I saw I could cut him off but unfortunately the moment I arrived Yun Zhao was already dead so it was really good for us and uh right now the game just turned pretty, pretty easy right so starting from this point you just have to farm um like farm lane push objective and one one thing I do want to notice uh you know actually note here it's hardly actually a great tower pressure because the um, attack speed boost from your first ability. And they ever notice like, you know, when you have an advantage, I saw on a minimap that, you know, Eudora was going this way. I wasn't sure if she's hiding in the bush because the blue buff is up. There was no reason to not assume that she didn't see this. Um, there was an accident here that I wasn't, I was, my auto attack actually went on the enemy um, Karina, a uh, carry. But I immediately used my first ability to get the blue buff. Um, you know, that was a lock shot to be honest because, you know, when they're all there, <laughs> it's very unlikely you would get it, but my first ability ended up getting it because just because I set the direction right. Here you can see like I just throw my old left and right. There's no need to hurry. There's no need to worry. We're still able to do a lot of damage to this um, Ghetto Kacha. I hate him dying. And Lolita's trying to get away right now with his shield and looks like he reach in, um, you know, after he after he set a shield up. Karina just split pushing top. Here this guy has no idea what he's getting himself into, right? This um Eudora just come in and shows zero respect. He thinks that um <laughs> like he's able to just survive like he I'm, obviously I just used ultimate so she saw that I didn't have any ultimate that's a huge underestimation of you know how short a cooldown is I I like my ultimate has pretty much I think yeah like you can see on the cooldown timer 14 seconds I didn't even have full cooldown reduction you can see my bill right now like I have like I think 30% you know it was freaking insane and like I think at 40% actually with my blue buff so it was 
Like, just coming in, not knowing that Harley can have his ult up, is just a pure disrespect, and it's just gonna result in his death. But I did make a mistake there, because I saw my Antor was there, I immediately returned back. Uh, here, Ghetto Kai jumped in, I used my uh, flavor, uh, second ability to jump away. And you can see, with my Execute, Ghetto Kai has nowhere to go, he has to die for, like, he just have to die. There's no reason for him not to die. And here you see how much damage we're able to do now, like, at this point in the game. Ghetto Kai has a full tank, and if you didn't know, he built Athena shield at this point. Um, He's supposed to be really tanky, but we're just so far ahead. Like, and if, in fact, doesn't matter what you build, I have execute, my friend. And execute does true damage, and that's why you take it. Because after you ultimate and you use execute, it synergizes so well. Because your ultimate does secondary damage based on how much HP, how much damage you dealt, you do, to, you dealt to enemy uh, when the ring was active. The 50% of that damage will become the secondary damage, you know, plus whatever you know another base amount of damage there is. So. <laughs> That's why I take execute because I always execute uh, here. As you can tell, coming in, see, I, see, I wasn't worried. I just used my first second uh, ultimate's first ability. You can tell only one HP. I assumed um, I didn't know how much HP he had, but I juked away. But as you can see right now, they're chasing me. I, I know Yunjiao was really low and a healing recall because he he, said, he thought he was behind his teammate and he thought he could get away. But unfortunately, I dashed back to the shadow. I mean, to my hat and used my first ability to get a kill on Yunjiao, which is. Really good play because Yun Yao didn't think that you know I was gonna go in there. And here you can see the great synergy between a uh, Harley and Karina. You saw it twice already this game. And here I use ultimate onto enemy Katokacha. Obviously there were a lot of minions in front of me and, and mantras in front, so I couldn't be I couldn't go in and do enough damage for my um, first ability. But Karina jumped in for a full combo and just walked away. Like this obviously if you don't know Limit Zeno is actually on the leaderboard as world number one Harley player. So obviously you know full on like what does Harley do? Um, so when I ulted, he went in ultimate, did a lot of second, a lot of damage when, when the ult was active, and in fact Kadoka just got bursted, nowhere for him to go. And here Eudora once again proven to be uh, like you know mispositioning. I want to go on Eudora, but unfortunately we're not Manator, but Manator died, so which is okay. And here we're gonna clean the wave um, all lanes. Lolita's still pushing top. Lolita's still having some you know emotional issues. <laughs> Not really helping. And here, like when we were whenever we're getting sent, we immediately dash back. You don't want to go any further. And just went from the tower, right? Clearing tower lock mode, even though Karina jumped in on this carry. I went in for some damage, but you know, I got ourselves in a lot of trouble, but the Godoka just second ability got me. And um Bello did he know that I'm able to do so much damage and Godoka just died, instantly bursted. And here I still have execute ready. So but Karina was doing so much damage at this point, I didn't have to use an execute to get the kill. And uh, yeah, and as you can see, I have my old up again. Was Harley was the build that I used? You want to use your combo all the time. And here I made a mistake. I jumped in. I don't know why the ultimate didn't trigger, but I ended up taking a lot of damage and I almost died. So I have to instantly get back because if the ultimate triggered, to be honest, I would fall out with my execute. I had to execute, but I wasn't able to use it because the. I just don't know why my ultimate didn't trigger, and then I'm pretty sure it's my like mistake on you know on execution there. Uh, my maneuver, I wasn't able to touch the ultimate, even though I thought I'd touch the ultimate, maybe my finger was just right outside the ring there, I wasn't sure. Um, here we're taking the red blue buff, but I, I, what I saw was Karina immediately on the minimap, start walking towards us, and what do you want to do? You want to give the blue buff to your teammate, right? Again, I have 20% cooldown reduction, to me, that's okay, you know, I don't have to get a lot right now, but Karina on the other hand, does use a lot of mana, so for me it's not really a mana issue, for me it's um, you know, I immediately went for blue for cooldown reduction. Here, we spotted some fights on top lane, you need to dash, by the way, you dash give you a speed boost, so here we need to dash before fight begins, you get the speed boost and get to top lane faster. And Gilokaja made, made another uh, happy mistake, and, but he's able to get away though, you know coming in. Now our team is in a lot of trouble, Karina not dying. If Karina dies his first kill, that's gonna put our team in a lot of trouble because Karina is our main damage source. Here, Magro coming in. I don't know whether he has ult or not. I have to dash away immediately. But when you dash away, though, don't feel like you know threatened of not using your Ninja coming to flip me. And in fact, I just want to get Gatokacha now at this point. In fact, I did because Gatokacha still had the ring active. Like third level three of your ultimate lasts very, very long. So you can actually find an opportunity to do a lot of damage. Now, obviously, unfortunately, their entire team followed up. So I have to die there. Oh, that was a lazy yum. <laughs> I had to die there, but yeah, as you can see in this game, um, we're able to just use our game, just use our, just use our game to um, 
Um, these are, you know, focus to get Lolita back. And here Lolita was asking me a question. He was saying um, something that I didn't pay attention to, but I, I just said, he said something regarding, hey, Harley. And I said, yes. And he asked the question. Obviously, I wasn't in the mood to answer this guy because this guy is AFK, you know. Uh, you don't expect to get an answer um, after they said AFK just, just because he thinks someone's retarded, you know. We saw on the front of mid lane there a lot of action going on and obviously I'm using my second ability again just for the speed boost so I can run to the battlefield faster. And when I get over here, Kuna already got a triple kill and a carry I got a mega kill also. But here we were able to use our ring, did a lot of damage in first ability and in fact we're gonna secure a savage for our wonderful Karina here even though again Lolita was trolling the whole game. So and I think after this we're able to secure the victory because if you have five go down there and we have three ready, um, uh, still in the front line of the battlefield. And in fact, we're here, which is the tower lock mode, and we got a, um, we're not we're easy victory, but a sure victory, right? Uh, and I'm I turned out to be MVP of this game. But as you can see, uh, what I'm saying right now is, when your teammate decided to troll like this early on, you just kind of leave them alone. You play your game, and you you type something like a kind warning. Or like you know, you tell get some senses into senses into them, right? Don't 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 ar don't bother even trying to argue with them because you want to get no results, okay? And he, you know, they're just saying that um, uh, you don't want to roll with a pick because you get yourself dirty and the pick love it. So same situation here, right? You do not want to mess with the pick. Uh, if your teammate does this to you, if this happened to your game, uh, do not worry about it. Just continue to play your game and uh, make sure you had a fun game. Focus on your farming. Focus on your economy because that's essential. If you, especially when you have one AFK, you want to bring your economy up uh, to help, like eventually you can all farm the enemy team and, and win. I mean, that's the only possible scenario. So with that guys, let me know what you guys think about this game. Um, you know, have this ever happened to you where one player just AFK right off the bat, not because technically you shoot, just because he wants to. Um, how do you deal with it? And um, yeah, definitely hit a like and subscribe to your team assassination. This is Assassin Dave right here. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in our next video.